Hello team, welcome to Cloud Pandit. In this Azure Data Factory Master Program video series, we will talk about Azure Data Factory end to end. And you can also see going forward whatever updates that we are getting in Azure Data Factory. Everything I'm going to include in this particular Azure Data Factory video series. I request all of you to subscribe to Cloud Pandit uh, YouTube channel so that uh, you will get all the content that I'm uploading in my YouTube channel. So let's get started with our very first session. So in today's session, we will be talking uh, with respect to the Azure Data Factory. We will see introduction to Azure Data Factory and uh, followed by some kind of a multiple choice questions that I'm going to ask on the content that I'm covering every day. Uh, so same, uh, you can say same flow will be there. Okay, so let's get started. So what is Azure Data Factory? If you look at Azure Data Factory is a cloud based data integration service. So here when you say cloud based. So the services which are used from the Azure Data Factory are provided or maintained by some other people who are the cloud providers. The popular cloud providers are we have Microsoft, AWS, Google, Oracle, IBM. So there are different cloud providers we have. This particular Azure Data Factory is maintained by the Microsoft. So that's why this you can say Azure Data Factory is a Microsoft managed cloud based service. Okay. So what is data integration? Integration meaning connections. Okay. Establishing the, the relation the communication between the two services is nothing but integration between the two services here data integration services means azure data factory can connect to the various uh, data storages various uh, file systems right so there are 100 plus connectors that are available in azure data factory which we can directly use to establish the connection to all of them so we will discuss each of them very in detail Okay, so as I already mentioned, this particular Azure Data Factory is provided by Microsoft. So as part of the Microsoft uh, Azure platform, we can uh, uh, get the Azure Data Factory service. So the second point it says Azure Data Factory enables users to create, schedule, orchestrate, monitor data pipelines. What is meant by creation? Let's say I want to move data from one place to another place. If you are aware SQL database or SQL server or Varaki, anything, right? So those all are the databases. If you look at the file system like Blob storage, Data Lake storage, uh, AWS S3, Google Cloud storage, so any storage, right? So from anywhere, from any database, from any file system, if you want to bring all the data at a central repository, okay so i will be taking uh, one of the scenario which gives you complete knowledge on real time exactly how we can able to use the azure data factory so that will be coming in the third session so what happens why we need to create this azure data factory uh, pipelines right um, basically data clients will maintain data in various places so now we are telling them maintaining the data at a different places is basically risky not only risky managing things is a little difficult but when i say managing the things not only data managing we need to provide the security scalability uh, cost efficiency all those things we need to take right so what we need to do is we need to just uh, bring all the data from various source systems into the cloud uh, storage where we have a unlimited storage we can store it at a one place single place you can call it as a central repository meaning you bring the data from various source systems put it at a single place right so in order to know what happens you brought the data from various source system putting at the single uh, storage that is a data lake or aws s3 as a central repository tomorrow if new data is adding into the source system how you will bring the tomorrow data day after tomorrow data how you will get it so in order to get every day whatever data is adding into the source systems into the central repository we need to create this pipeline and then schedule them okay once you schedule them there will be a dependency it says that Hey, once the source one is completed then source two then source three. there is a dependency there are some cases where you need to organize the flow once this source is done add the this source data and so on for that orchestrate orchestration meaning organizing the data flows 
which one we need to load first which one we need to load next so there is ordering of activities we need to keep adding and then monitoring whether these things are going fine or is there any failures if it is failure how we are monitoring are we able to recover the failure uh, tables are we able to rerun for pipelines for the failed tables and so on right so basically azure data factory enables us to create those data pipelines we can schedule them to fetch the daily data which is adding at the source side we can organize them to fetch data in a proper way like uh, which source first we need to ingest next which source we need to ingest then we can monitor this particular data pipelines to move and transform the data from various sources to various destinations maybe as i mentioned the best practices just bring data from various whole systems put it at a single uh, storage that is data like as a central repository if you are using aws cloud you can use aws s3 as a uh, central repository but sometimes what happens whatever data we have in the on premise sql server they move normally client interested to move it into azure sql database because azure sql database is a cloud service which is managed for security everything will be taken care by the cloud providers getting and azure data factory is a pass solution what is pass platform as a service so when you say platform as a service there are three types of offerings from the cloud we will have iis pass and sas sas means let's say you are using a gmail but do you know like where the data is storing okay who is managing the servers what kind of computation is there in the backend we don't know but we know how to use this that is the best example for the sas pass means so let's say i have developed some code and i just wanted to execute let's say azure data factory you just develop your pipeline you don't worry about who is running back end like how much compute it is taking and all completely taken care by them meaning provisioning of the required compute everything they will uh, take care you can also say that uh, auto integration runtime what it does is the compute will be auto scaled up and scaled down automatically which means that if you have 100 chocolates if you want to eat today means there will be 10 people you want to just eat the 10 chocolates there will be only one person you want to eat 1000 chocolates there will be 100 people ready to eat thousand chocolates right so how dynamic it is we don't know how many chocolates i need to eat for today so based on that uh, i need a number of people to eat this chocolate similar to this based on the data that you want to extract and process based on that automatically adf will take care of how much resources how many resources it has to take to save the uh, cost as well as to run the job efficiently right so that is a pass meaning underlying the uh, uh, cluster creation or uh, the computational hardware everything we are not uh, looking at but when you say the third type is iaas means infrastructure as a service where we are going to define everything when you say define everything meaning hardware type is it um, uh, so hard 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 disk or um, uh, like whatever right so hard disk type we are going to see the virtual networks port numbers so everything we are going to control in the back and all the administrative activities everything you are going to take care in the ias so as i mentioned azure data factory comes under a pass solution for the data transformation okay so this is the content we covered let me take you through the some of the questions that you need to answer from the discussion so you can see here uh, the today discussion is uh, is azure data factory a platform as a service true or false you can just mention if it is a true you mentioned a if it is a false you mentioned b in the comment session similarly azure data factory is a managed on premise service managed cloud service managed hybrid service both a and c so when you say hybrid service means what hybrid service means so azure data factory is managed can be managed in the on-premise can be also managed in the cloud is it possible to manage azure data factory in the on-premise as well if you think uh, azure data factory can be managed in the on-premise and the cloud you can answer the uh, number three okay which says hybrid service which means uh, can be managed in the on-premise and cloud but uh, i will be posting all the answers in the comment session you can try to provide your own answers and uh, compare those answers against my answers okay 
summary. So in summary, we will see Azure Data Factory uses following components or tools for scheduling. So basically, Azure Data Factory uses uh, different types. Or like Azure Data Factory itself has the schedule mechanism. So you try to guess it uh, through your learning if you're already aware, Apache Airflow, ADF triggers, Azure Web Jobs, both A and C, right? So you just uh, try to answer this question as well. Similarly, we have uh, Azure Data Factory supports data transformations, true or false. Generally, earlier, right, in 2000, uh, 21 2021 before we don't have any transformations directly supported kind of a data flows we don't have but recently it is enabled the answer for this is a but um, you can just think whether whatever i'm saying is true or false you can answer but the actual answers i'll be posting in the comment session okay that's all for uh, this session team we will be discussing the remaining things in the next session thank you i request all of you to uh, subscribe my Cloud Pandit YouTube channel to get more videos and more content on the Azure Data Factory. Thank you.